Good evening, Scouts with the Winnebago Council. Greg Muller here, your uh, program director for the uh, Inguana's Venture Base this year. And this is your first Fix It Friday. Hi guys, I'm Colin Devine Meyer, camp caretaker out here at Camp Inguana's. And tonight we're gonna show you how to correctly repair and reglaze a single pane glass window. So here's everything you're gonna need. Obviously you're gonna need new glass to put into the window. You're gonna need a razor knife, a putty knife, tape measure to measure your opening, a glass cutter, a sharpie to mark your glass, a paintbrush, some oil-based primer, glaze, a straight edge, always safety gl gloves, your busted window, and safety glasses. So to start, we're gonna put on our safety gloves. All the glass has been removed out of this window already, but normally you'll be taking out the busted glass. And you're going to grab your putty knife and scrape out all the old window glaze. So now that we've got everything scraped out with the putty knife, we're going to finish up with a razor knife, cleaning all the edges, making sure every small piece is gone. I'll just blow it dry. Next. Take our safety gloves off. And we'll measure our opening, which is 12 inches by nine inches. Then we'll oil-based prime the opening before we cut the glass and the primer will dry while we're cutting glass. Don't worry about getting it on the edge. They'll repaint the window afterwards. And why do we prime it before we put the glass in, Colin? It causes a better adhesion for the glaze. And if you don't do that, your glaze has the potential to fall out. And then you just went to all this work for nothing. And we're doing this outside because oil base has a stronger odor to it, and when you're outside, it just vents into the environment. And doesn't overwhelm your senses. Now we just have to let that dry while we cut the glass. So when you're ready to make your cut, you'll measure out your length and your width and make some marks. Ours is already the perfect nine inches wide. Now we're just meant to make it the 12. So we put a couple of marks on there, then we're going to grab our straight edge and we're going to set it on those marks. We're going to grab our glass cutter, and roll it a little bit towards the edge, and then we're going to one smooth motion pull it back. And as you're doing this, you're going to hear a screech, if you will, and that's when you know that you've got the perfect pressure. Now this one cracked a little bit, and that's okay because this is the piece we need, not this one. So we're going to set that gently aside. We're going to flip it back over. Line our straight edge up again. Grab our glass cutter. Make sure that our glass cutter blade is right on top of that other line the whole way across and do it all over again. Rolling forward and then rolling back. And it did just what we wanted it to do. It broke off perfectly in our straight line. Now we got our glass piece. We're gonna fit it in, make sure it's tight on that edge. Then we're gonna slowly, gently pick up the window and come in and very gently press it in until it's snug. And now we'll start with the glazing. So you're gonna take your glazing and just get a glob in your hand. Then you're gonna just roll it between your fingers or your hands until you get a small enough 
to work with. Set that aside for later. You're kind of warming the glazing up so it applies nicely. I'm kind of just going for a pencil size glaze strip. It's a little big, but uh, you can work with it. And you just press it in with your fingers. Start. You're going to come back and clean it up. Then you take your putty knife and you kind of work it in. That's pressing it back in behind the glass. So when you cut your glass, there's just a little bit of extra room so that the glaze can go into it and seal it. And you just go back and work the whole edge. They make a nice fancy knife for this. Called a glazing called, knife. Called a glazing knife. Yeah. And we just left ours at home tonight, so we're going to do it with a putty knife because a lot of people don't own a glazing knife. And just nice and smooth all the way down, clean it up. And once you're done with all the glazing, you have a little bit left on the edges that you can't scrape off or whatever. You can just take your finger really gently and wipe it down. Now, we just have to wait until the glaze dries. Always follow the manufacturer's recommend recommendations on that. Um, this one, for example, is going to take a couple of days. After that, it's going to need a coat of primer and then a coat of paint, and it'll be ready to install. Thanks for joining us tonight as we did the window glazing. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned a little bit. And uh, for the next uh, Fix It Friday, we have this poor little guy. It is a rusty cast iron pot, and we're going to show you how to take that and make it look just like new. Have a good evening, guys. Thanks.